Hey everybody, this is Roy Kennedy, and this is Favorite Game Friday, where we have a group of contributors with completely different taste in gaming talking about their favorite game in the category of the week. This is all about games that we want to get played. Is there a game on your shelf of opportunity or your shelf of shame that you haven't played yet that you really want to get to the table for the first time? Make sure to leave in the comments down below what game you want to play, and let's get to the contributors clips. Hi guys, I'm Mike, and this is Addy with Skeleton Key GDS, and this is the entirety of our shelf of opportunity, I mean shame. We only have four games that we have unplayed in our collection, and I am thinking that the one I want to play most out of these four games, which is Unmatched, Little Red Riding Hood, and Beowulf, Brew, Brew, Lions, Lions of Lydia, Lydia, and Eldritch Horror. The one I want to play the most is Brew. What about you? Same. Can we play it now? Because I got you got it for you for Fowler's Day. Sure. Let's Yay. go. Happy Friday. Happy Bye. Friday. Bye. Hi, I'm Julian. And I'm Libby, and we're from the YouTube channel Box Meeples. As a wise woman once sung, it's Friday, it's Friday, so what game are you going to get off your shelf that you haven't played before yet on Friday? The game I've bought but never played is Homeland. I got it in a charity shop for £3.50 and uh, I didn't notice that at the top it says it's for three to six players. There's a pandemic which meant that we didn't have three to six players to hand, so it's remained unpunched and unloved. I'm going to go with Cantaloupe. Unlike Julian, I know very little about point and click, whereas, you know, he's written a book about it. But I'm intrigued as to how it will turn out into a sort of board game, sort of experience a different type of gaming to the normal games that I would usually play. Today is the second day of RichieCon, so I'm here in the calm before the storm. And the game I'm looking forward to getting out of shrink and getting a play is Detective. It's the newest one that just saw it at my lo uh, local game store, so I'm really looking forward to giving this one a try. This has been a great series. Happy Favorite Game Friday, you lovely meeples. I'm Jay, and normally Chantal would be here, but together we're the love meeples. This week's Favorite Game Friday subject is games we're most looking forward to on our shelf of opportunity. And for us, it is all the legacy games that we have. Charterstone. My City, Risk Legacy, Pandemic Legacy Season 2, and Pandemic Legacy Season 1. Well, hello. Happy Favorite Game Friday. Hey, Jay, have you found any players yet? Jay. Jay. Well, join us on Twitch. Details down below. Till next time, have a great weekend. Bye. Hey everyone, Ness from the Indigo Sun Zenith channel here, and happy Friday! It's nice to be back, even if my mic is broken. Today, it's uh, the game that I really want to get to the table, and that would have to be this one, Tragedy Looper. I know Z hates this game with a passion. I'm really curious. I love some Japanese murder mystery. I like the time loop aspect of it, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what I think of it. Kimberly from Tabletop Tulson here, and a game that I have that I still haven't yet played, which I'm embarrassed to say because I've heard such wonderful things about it, and I'm a huge fan of the series. High Counts of the West Kingdom. If you've been watching my videos, you'll notice that we've got the West Kingdom and the North Sea right behind me on this shelf right here. So huge fan. Can't wait to dive into this juicy game. Hey, Tina. Hi, Kim. Wow. If I were you, I'd be embarrassed. But for me, the game that I have in my basement that I still haven't played is Root. Now, this game, I just hear so many great things about it, but because of the asymmetrical characters and gameplay, it's really intimidating. And there are just so many different ways to play and win, and you've got to have all these different players over to play all the different characters. Wow. So maybe that's why I haven't played Root yet. Hi, this is Georg. The game I need to get to the table is... Die Insel der Katzen, The Isle of Cats. Of all the games I bought at Virtual Essen last year, this is the only one I still didn't get to play. 
Maybe I'll pester some friends to play with, with me this weekend, though sadly there won't be a cat there to sit in the lid. Have a nice weekend! Hello everybody, this is True 73 Gamer here again. Uh, this week coming with Shelf of Opportunity. The games I have that I own that I haven't played, like Tricarian, I have uh, Starship Samurai, I also have games like um, Whistle Mountain, and believe it or not, this game that I have it for like a couple years now, uh, World of Warcraft the board game, had it for a long time, still haven't played it, but the game I really have, that I own, that I'm dying to play, is, well, it comes from Middle Earth, one of my favorite movies of all time, it is uh, War of the Ring, War of the Ring, I, I never have a chance to play it, I, it's, a one, it's a two player game, as soon as it takes uh, too long to play, I never have the time, nor the person to play with, but I'm dying to play this game. Hopefully in the next convention I get a chance to play this game. I'm dying to play it. Anyway guys, thank you guys. See you guys soon. And uh, well, keep gaming. See you next week. Hi, I'm Josh from the YouTube channel Josh Yaks. At the very beginning of this whole pandemic, I picked up an exciting looking cooperative pirate game. Unfortunately, unlike a lot of cooperative games, this one isn't really meant to be played solo. So it hasn't gotten to the table yet, which is why I really need to get uh, I've forgotten what this game is called. Oh, wait. I really need to get Forgotten Waters to the table. Hi everyone, I'm Nathan. My favorite game on the shelf of opportunity is probably like role-playing games. Like World of Darkness, or in this case Chronicles of Darkness, it's about the same thing. Um, but my favorite board game on the shelf of opportunity is Article 27. It requires three to five players, and I never have three to five players. It's a fun negotiation game with very little room for backstabbing. Hey, I'm Cody from the Way Brothers channel, and a game I just need to get played is Brass Birmingham. I just got it a few weeks ago, but it is complicated, it's tough to learn, and it's hard just to get this off the shelf and played, so I'm working on it. Happy Friday, everyone. This is the winner, and welcome to our game room. This week on Favorite Game Friday, the topic is the game you would like to play the most off your shelf of shame, or in my case, piles of shame. The pick for me is Praga Kaput Regni by Vladimir Suchi. Now, he also designed Pulsar 2849 and Underwater Cities, both amazing games, and I can't wait to try this one to see if it follows right in those same footsteps. Until next week, keep playing, keep winning. Hello, Twice is Nice Dice here, and today's video is about games that we want to get off of our shelf of opportunity. My brother and I, we both want to play Shadows of Brimstone. All three of us want to play Merchant's Cove and After the Empire also. And mine also would have to be Teo to Walk On and Google. I can't remember. I have so many. Bye! Bye! What's up guys, this is Gabriel from Board Games and Barbells, a YouTube and Instagram account. Happy Favorite Game Friday. This week we are talking about games that are on our shelf of opportunity. And the specific one for me is Marvel Villainous. It is an asymmetrical game. You are fighting with different villains and each villain has their own specific path to victory. And it looks awesome. I'm a huge Marvel fan. Love the villains. We've got Thanos, Taskmaster, Ultron, Hela, and Killmonger. Sounds awesome, but I've not gotten it to the table. Not sure if it's because I've heard some mixed reviews or I don't know why. Either way, this one, I'm going to make a point to get it to the table very soon. Guys, I hope you guys have an awesome Favorite Game Friday. Have a great Friday, and remember to keep playing games and go get those games. Assalamu alaikum. I'm excited to get Arkham Horror, the card game, out of my shelf of uh, opportunity. Uh, it might not be my favorite because I love deck building, but I'm not a fan of deck construction game, which this is. But the amount of uh, good reviews and the type of the game it shows, that always draws me to Arkham Horror. I've already got the shrink wrap off, just looking for the right opportunity to just get it played. That's it for me. Happy gaming! The games that we're excited to play off of our shelf of opportunity are ones that we're going to play with our daughter. Like My First Orchard and any of the Haba games. And My Little Scythe. 
Ready, player three? Hello everyone, Merlin's Manor here for Favorite Game Friday. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the games on my shelf of opportunity. Now games don't last very long generally on my shelf of opportunity. Usually within a week or two I've got them to the table. But here's one that's been on my shelf of opportunity since Christmas. And that is Buck Rogers Battle for the 25th Century. Now this is a game that I remember uh, playing as a kid and enjoying. And so I was mentioning it to one of my friends and he got it for me for Christmas. And I just haven't gotten to the table because it's a rather complicated game and uh, more complicated than I remembered from back when I was playing as a kid. And so I just haven't really had the time and opportunity to delve into it. But I'm looking forward to getting it to the table soon. And if you'd like to hear more about some other games I have on my shelf opportunity, you can head on over to Merlin's Manor and check that out. Happy Friday, everyone. I want to play Cat Rescue because it sounds fun rescuing the cats. I would want to be in a room with them, rescuing them and helping them. The two games that I want to play now are Reef and Survive. But I want to play Reef because it sounds fun building up your coral reef. And I want to play Survive because I saw it on an anime and they play and it looked fun. Mr. Kitty has the same view. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, Bye. Bye. I'm holding the game, and I love it, because I'm on it. For me, it's Dwellings of Eldervale. I played the Dice Tower copy, but I haven't played my own copy, and me and Mike talk all the time about getting this back to the table, because I love Dwellings of Eldervale. Hi, everyone. The game that I want to play the most right now from my shelf is Oath Chronicles. I really hope this will work well with my group, and I'm excited to see what stories this game will tell. And second is High Frontier for All. Well, the reason why I haven't played this yet is because the rules are really heavy and I'm studying it in between different games, so it takes a little bit of time. It actually makes me feel like I'm studying in university again and it doesn't feel like I'm reading any rules at all. So that's it for me. High Frontier and Old Chronicles. Bye! There are so many awesome games that we get and sometimes it's a little bit harder to get certain ones to the table. Make sure to leave in the comments down below what game you really want to get to the table and get played off of your shelf of opportunity. And make sure to check out our contributors from all around the internet. It's awesome to have so many different people join in on Favorite Game Friday. It's a blast to see everybody's picks for every single week. If you'd like to join in on Favorite Game Friday, next week we're going to be talking about our favorite board game designer. Is there a specific designer that has games that you really like or you just really like their style of game design make sure to leave in the google drive link down below your favorite board game designer and we'll see you on the next favorite game friday yeah.